city in Japan is on the lookout after dozens of people have been attacked by monkeys. Look at this picture. 58 people have been attacked in the city of Yamaguchi in just the past couple of weeks. The monkeys have targeted mostly children, babies, and the elderly. The city has hired people to hunt them down with tranquilizer guns. I guess traps don't work because the monkeys are not interested in food, just violence. Huh. Residents are advised to avoid eye contact, and they say make yourself look big oh my if you gosh. come across a monkey. It's what so the heck? scarier than a bear. I, are you kidding? Uh, just okay. violence. Just violence. <laughs> <laughs> Most terrifying what? script. What is going on? Look at it peering through the window. I'm coming for you. Mm -hmm. Try to avoid eye contact oh now. Oh my gosh. Shalom. Given all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. This is Brother Yerushalam coming back at you with another video. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. This video being titled um, More Judgment on Ammon, Monkeys Attack. Alright. And these um, Ammonites, you know, whose modern day name is um, is Japanese, all right, Japan, as a modern day title for the for the um, for the nation, called by the name of Ammon, all right, you know, you know they they um, which are which are enemy of Israel, all right, according to the scriptures, Psalm 83, all right, they've been going through a lot of different um, uh, pestilences. All right, you know, and, and punishments and judgments from the Lord, all right, for what they've done for attacking Jake from even in ancient times. All right, and now you know we have these monkeys now that attacking them now, you know, that that, that coming in the cities. All right, um, you know, and, and basically they're not attacking for food. They're, they're not hungry. All right, they're well fed. They're actually big and fat. They say, and they're amazed at the size of them. All right, I was actually watching another um, video too. There were some Shedamites you know, female Edomites who were laughing at them. All right, well, we know Esau, you know, is the devil and they're created for the, for, as a sword. So anyway, to them, they, they don't care about the heathen anyway. But um, the rest of the heathen nations. All right, but um, these monkeys, you know, they, 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 they be opening windows, all right, dodging, dodging the police. When they call the police, they, they hear the sirens, they, they hide. You know, and as soon as the popos, you know, they, 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 they run away, they go away. They, these monkeys be coming out. Alright, so that's showing that they have intelligence behind them, which is what you go back to the spirits. You know, these the, the demons, you know, the spirits on the left hand side, you know, that 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 in that inhabit, you know, controlling these monkeys to do what they're doing. Because they're coming in, they're swinging in through the windows, they're slapping children, they're biting them, you know, and, and it's weak they're doing, you know, and this is what these devils, these heathen, always do. They always pick off Jake because why Jake is Jake weak because of the curses. Alright. You know, just like how they, they came against us, all right, even in the book of, um, when you go back to the book of Judges, all right, um, fuck, I think I have it here, Judges 11 and 27, when they came against Israel and Jephthah, you know, they basically give them a, um, send them a message, you know, Judges 11 and 27, it says, wherefore, I have not sinned against thee, but thou doest me wrong to war against me, or could they, they war against Jake? Because the hate is Jake, you know. You know the Lord told us not to go into the land. We didn't, we didn't touch the land, all right. But they have an envy first, all right, because we are the chosen people of Yahbashim Yahushai. All right, it says the Lord, the Judge, be judged this day between the children of Israel and the children of Ammon. That's what the Lord is doing right now. The Lord is judging, all right. By by judge, you mean he's, he's punishing them. All right, he, he pleading for 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 Israel. That's what's happening right now. This this whole. This whole um, turn up these increases in um, the pestilence, uh, which the Lord Yahweh Shai, our Lord, told us was coming. Right, it's Matthew 24 and verse 3. It says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for there shall come, but many shall come in my name, saying, I am a Mashiach, I am anointed. And shall deceive many all right but he shall hear of wars and rumors of wars which we see now see that he not but that he be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom 
and there shall be famines and pestilences right to monkeys of these monkeys plague and these people pet you know pestilence will be not pest to these people it's a pestilence all right also you have the plagues which is the so-called um these different diseases all right and earthquakes in diverse places right these different earthquakes on which japan is earthquake prone all right japan will like getting earthquakes left right and center if you check it out um it's a great history of japanese earthquakes all right this is a list of, of earthquakes japan is earthquake prone all right go down here yeah, you can see November the 29th, you got a 8.4 on the Richter scale, June the 5th, um, and this goes back a long way, 1293, I'm saying 1293, May 27, 1293, 8.97.1, 8.4, so the Lord has been shaken up, I'm on, alright, for the wickedness, you know, hey, 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 you know, this is the, the Lord sent these monkeys, this is the revenge of the monkeys, and really you know it's um we're going back to the scripture here we're going back to um the good old scripture in, in sarak uh 39 verse 28 because these monkeys be biting people too the lord said tita wild beasts sarak 39 and 28 there be spirits that are created for vengeance which in their fury lay on sore strokes right right in their fury these monkeys furious they're aggressive and guess what they don't even want to be fed all right and when they set traps it's not working because the food they're not they're not being lured into the traps all right in the time of destruction they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that mess right now these monkeys are peacing the wrath of yabashim yoshai on these ammonites all right fire and hail and famine and death all these were created for vengeance teeth of wild beasts right teeth of the monkeys these macaque monkeys which which usually not very aggressive all right but you know we saw this before a couple of years ago during the um, height of the um the C19er, alright, where where um there was a main city in Thailand, an ancient city where, where the, basically the monkeys overthrew it. Alright, they took over. Which is the Lord the Lord's doing. Alright, fire and hail and hail and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions and serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. And these Ammonites are wicked. Alright? Verse 31 reads, They shall rejoice in their commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time is, they shall not transgress his word. So these um these monkeys here, hey, they're not transgressing the word of Yahabashim Yahushai. To see him, he's peering through the window. Those are the eyes of, of Yahabashim Yahushai peering through to give these these Japanese, these Ammonites judgment for what they've done to, to his people, to, Yab to, 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 to Jake. All right, because they've done wickedness unto the tribes. All right, they've enslaved our people. They are God enslaved, right? Tribe of God. Okay? So the Lord don't Lord, Lord never forget those things. Alright? You know, that this this is this is it. And these 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 freaking Ammonites, you know, these they are our enemies. Alright, let's go um and they still they still be Jake still being oppressed over there because there are many Jakes among those Ammonites. Alright, let's get um let's bring in Psalms eighty three. All right, and verse two it says, "For lo, thy enemies make a tumult; they that hate, they have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones." And this is why the Lord is punishing them, for they have said, "Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance." This is why they came against us in the ancient days, and this is why they're still coming out against Jacob to now. For they have consulted together. You know, when it's when it's all said and done. You're gonna realize all these technological advancements, a lot of them in, in Japan, you know, that being pushed forward, is a lot of jakes and ones behind it, even in terms of the automobiles. You have all these big brands like like um, Nissan, Toyota, Mitsubishi, come up with these different technologies and you know and the advanced. You know, a lot of them is are jakes, the engineers are jakes. But Jake don't get any um credit for that. Alright, verse five say for they are consulted together with one consent, they are confederate against the the tabernacles of Edom, right? We know them, Edomites, so-called white man, and the Ishmaelites, the so-called Arabs, of Moab, right? The so-called Chinese, and the Hagarines, a band of Africans, Gebal and Ammon, which is what? Who the Japanese? 
and Amalek, right, the lead tribe of Esau, Edom, the white man, those so-called Jewish, all right, the Philistines were the inhabitants of Tyre. So all these, these devils, eh, these heathens, you know, they always been against us. You know, and the prophet Jeremiah, all right, spoke about these Ammonites and what the Lord is going to do to them. Let's take a read of that quickly here. And it's really to be too long. This is Jeremiah 49 and 1 concerning the Ammonites. Thus saith Yahweh, hath Israel no sons? Hath he no heir? All right. Why then doth their king inherit God, right? The tribe of God. You know? And his people dwell in his cities. You know? Because God, you know, is heavily among Moab. You see, look at God alone. You could see that they were heavily incorporated with, with, with Ammon. Ammon's luck here. All right? Because, you know, they were taking a lot of the Ammon I women as, as concubines and marrying them as wives and one making children. That's why the Ammon, the Godites, look the way they look today. All right? First 2 says, Therefore, Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that I will cause an alarm of war to be heard in Rabbah, right? You know, alarm of war. And even the siren is an alarm of war. It's, it's like an alarm of war. Okay? Alright, you know, the, the Japanese were involved in the previous world wars as well. Okay? Where, where the Lord, you know, he pretty much wiped them out with, um, with the bombs in Nagasaki and Hiroshima, the, the hydrogen bombs. Okay? Well, that was punishment unto Ammon for what they did to whom? Israel, Israel. All right, and it shall be desolate, it be a desolate heap, and her daughter shall be burnt with fire. Then shall Israel be heir unto them that that were his heirs. So the Lord gonna turn it back. All right, we gonna take take back the land that they took from us. All right, we gonna we gonna we gonna reclaim. Um, we are gonna put them in captivity. Verse three says, Howl, O Heshbon, for I is spoiled. Cry, O ye daughters of Rabba, gird ye with sackcloth, lament, and run to and fro by the hedges. For their king shall go into captivity and his priests and his princes together. Alright, which King David had conquered all these people before. Alright, but um you know it's gonna happen again. In in perfection, you know, in, 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 in perfection it's gonna happen, you know, for, in, for forever. They're gonna be our slaves. Okay? In the kingdom to come, when Yahweh Shai comes back. For his four says, Wherefore, glorious, thou in the valleys, thou flowing valley, O backsliding daughter, that trusted in her treasures, and they believe. In their treasures, they believe in the cars, the technology. All right, you know, they are one of the merchants to talk about in Revelation, I believe it's Revelation 18 chapter. Right, the merchants of the earth that sold that, you know, that, 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 that take, took pleasure in Babylon. They got rich off of Babylon's wickedness. All right, you know, so they trust in the treasures, saying, Who shall come unto me? Yeah, they're proud. Behold, I will bring a fear upon thee, saith the Lord of hosts, Yahbashim Yahshai, from all those that be about thee. And ye shall be driven out every man right forth, and none shall gather up him that wandereth. Right, and that's, what, that's how uh, Ammon as well reached, you know, where they are right now, in so-called the island of Japan. Because they, they, the original land is nowhere near there, so it's around Israel. Alright, across the Jordan. Verse 6 and after that, I will bring again the captivity of the children of Adam, Am Ammon, Seth, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, So the Lord going to bring the captivity... Why? Because of the wickedness, you know, which um, it speaks about in Second Ezra's 15, I believe it's 46 verse, yeah, because they follow after Babylon's ways, all right, Second Ezra's 15 and 46, and thou Asia that art partaker of the hope of Babylon, is this a talk about Moab, it could include Ammon as well, okay, and at the glory of a person, because Ammon actually, the economy of Ammon was stronger than the economy of Moab for a long time. Alright, which they get they got rich off of Babylon. Okay? Verse 47 says, Woe be unto thee, thou wretch, because thou hast made thyself like unto her, and hast decked thy daughters in whoredom, that they might please and glory in thy lovers, which have always desired to commit whoredom with thee. Right? Thou hast followed her that is hated in all her works and inventions, say at your Bashim Yahweh Shia, they follow the so called white man, he saw Edom, namely America, which is Babylon the Great. I will send plagues upon her with a hood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence, right? Pestilence, these, these, these monkeys, right? Which wasting them, destroying the property, damaging them, biting off the toes, all right? You know, slapping them in the belly, <laughs> you know, hitting them in the head, all right? To waste thy houses with destruction and death, all right? And this is what, this is what's going on, all right? And the glory of thy power shall be dried up as flour, when the heat shall arise that is sent over thee. 
So you want to be in a mess. Thou shalt be weakened as a poor woman, right? A poor weak woman with stripes. And these monkeys given hitting them stripes, man. And as one chastised with wounds. Oh, beautiful yapa. Wounds from these, um, these monkeys. So that the mighty and lover shall not be able to receive thee. Alright, so, hey. The plagues draw nigh and the knock slack. Alright, there's more judgment coming on the way. Alright, so I pray this lesson was edifying. When I give all praises and honor and glory unto Yahweh Shem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakudash, the destruction unto Babylon and all those countries around the world that follow after. A bad babal. Till next time, Shalom.